Question, have you heard of the Hawk signal before? It's a very important tool for drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians. And here with more is Chuck Malagoti with the Albuquerque Parks and Rec Department. Thanks for being here this morning. We appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having us. We've done the story on the Hawk signal before. It's new to the Albuquerque city itself. There's Correct. been one in the county, right, for a Correct. long while. For about a year. How, what is it? It is a high intensity activated crosswalk. So what it's doing is it's taking the, the capability of a mid-block crossing, allowing pedestrians and bicyclists to have a more secure way of crossing mid-block between two major arterials. And this is important obviously because there's traffic in that area and, and we'd like to keep those folks that are recreating in the area moving safely and quickly, right? Absolutely. And, the, and this one, the one we're going to be talking about today is on Lomas and Alvarado. Okay. And Alvarado is part of the 50 mile uh, loop, the activity loop. Now it's turned out that this is, we're going to get to the kind of walking through it here in a second, but this has turned out to be pretty confusing, you think, for some folks? I did spend an hour out at, at the Hawk at Alvarado and uh, Lomas, and, and I did see a, quite a variety of behaviors of how people were interacting with the Hawk, yes. Okay, so in order to clear up confusion, which we would like to do and help you out here on KRQ this morning, let's walk through exactly what it is, what it does. Now, we're going to show you some video, and you're going to kind of narrate exactly what we're seeing. Go ahead. Okay, this is the push button right here that's going to activate the Hawk. Yeah. And the first the first uh, maneuver that the hawk does is it goes to a flashing yellow, then a steady yellow, and then a steady red. Okay. Uh, the flashing red is actually where a lot of the confusion happens. The flashing red, car traffic can actually stop. They treat it as a stop sign. Okay. So they're supposed to come to complete stop, look left, right, left, and continue. Where do you want to cross then? On, I mean, is it supposed to be at any hawk point when the red light is on? Okay, so what a pedestrian would do is they actually would go, push the button, wait for the flashing uh, yellow, okay. wait for a steady yellow, and once it goes to a solid red, that's when the pedestrian uh, signal will actually show for the pedestrian to walk. Okay. All right, so they just need to follow the actual pedestrian signals like you might see at any other uh, intersection. Correct. And they don't want to enter into the hawk once the, the light is flashing and there's the countdown on the pedestrian signal happening. And okay. for cyclists, the same thing. My, my big hope is that cyclists will actually utilize the hawk. Uh, they'll come up to the hawk, they'll push the button, then they'll continue on their way once the hawk cycles through. Why is this more beneficial to cyclists or pedestrians than, say, a normal crosswalk? Well, it's, it's beneficial for traffic flow. The hawk allows, uh, the hawk actually sleeps most of the time. Mm -hmm it only becomes activated when someone pushes the okay. button. So it's a great tool of keeping traffic moving on an arterial and still allowing a very safe crossing for cyclists and pedestrians. It's good to know, and it's good to have a little demonstration on how it, how it works, at least a little narration. Something called a Sharo? A Sharo? Is that coming soon? What is that all about? That's already on the road okay. also on Alvarado. And the important thing of leading up to the actual hawk is another new symbol, and I, I brought a, uh, a little bit of a drawing of a Sharo up okay. front. Right here. Um, the Sharo is a way of for both cyclists and the motorists to know that this is now turns into a, a shared uh, usage road, so cyclists uh, are allowed to take the full lane on these roads. Makes sense. Where can people get more information if they want to find more about, about the Hawk? The Hawk, we do have a uh, brochure on the cabq.gov website. Mm -hmm. uh, my number is 768 bike, which is 2453, <laughs> I'd be happy to, to kind of walk people through. It's a, it's a little bit confusing mm -hmm. uh, new device, but I think it will add safety in the metro area. We hope so. Chuck, thanks so much for being here today. Of course, we'll link to it too on krqe.com and get people more information too through the uh, city of Albuquerque's website. Thanks so much. Thank Appreciate you. It. We'll be right back.